1912, Charles Lorry uh, called a student holiday. Everybody gets to take the day off, but everybody has to work and help build the new uh, football field. And they tore up the ground, they plotted the land, uh, they got everything ready, they seeded it, they sodded it, and uh, started the grass to grow uh, so that Colorado Field would be the first uh, football field in the state of Colorado uh, to be built with grass. Uh, and that was, uh, for those three days, even Harry Hughes uh, helped pitch in to help build the Colorado Field Complex, uh, which consisted of the main football field where everybody would go to, uh, cinder track, and then two practice fields. Uh, one of those practice fields on the south end ended up being the baseball field. This is the story of Colorado Field, the home of Colorado State University football for 55 years, from 1912 through 1967. Relive the glory of the first true grass football field in the state of Colorado. Relive the history from the beginning to the dismal end, from the championships and the greatest games to the greatest players with stories from fans and players. Colorado Field was, was always a fun place to go to a football game. The fans themselves were boards and, and metal. Uh, the uh, uh, Aggie fans wouldn't have anything to do about it, so they all started scrapping at midfield. Uh, I can recall some of the sounds of stomping on those fans. Here goes Keep off the run up and jumped on Cowboy Joe. We dug deep into the archives at Colorado State University to bring you the true story. Once nestled southeast of the Oval, at the corner of College and University Avenue, today, nothing remains of Colorado Field, its former location taken up by parking lots, and the Jack Christensen Memorial Track. But the memories live on in images frozen in time and in the hearts and minds of Aggies and Rams of old. As the 100th anniversary of the first game at Colorado Field approaches, and as talk of a new on-campus stadium at Colorado State heats up, let us embrace the past. This is the story of Colorado Field.